Top stories in your news on the go. The Onondaga County Health Department is warning of potential exposure to COVID-19 around the area. In the Liverpool and Clay area specifically, Mavis Muffler on Oswego Street, PetSmart, Lowe's and Aldi on Route 31 in Clay and Wegmans on Taft Road. In the city of Syracuse, Pepino's on Grant Boulevard in East Syracuse at Walmart on Basil Road and Tractor Supply Company. A full list of dates and locations can be found on localsyr.com. Health officials in Madison County are providing an update on those new COVID-19 cases found at the Green Empire Farms Greenhouse in Oneida. Among the employees there, targeted testing by the state and county up the number to 83 positive cases for workers living in Madison County. The majority live in two hotels. Five of those workers have recovered from the virus and returned to work. There are 32 other active cases of COVID-19 in Madison County not tied to the greenhouse. I knew this morning state police in Cortland County have cleaned up a partially rolled over FedEx truck. This on ID1 North just before 3.30 this morning was blocking the northbound side of the interstate there between the Preble and Tully exits. Well, when we arrived, crews were using a tow truck to flip the truck upright and get it off the road. The interstate is clear and back open. We have reached out to find out if there were any injuries at this time. And Syracuse fire crews are still looking to the cause of this fire on Spring Street, the 1500 block of Spring Street that happened last night just off Wolf Street. First responders greeted with heavy smoke and flames pouring out of the second floor of the two story home there, extending to a home next door as well. At one point, the home's roof collapsed as well, forcing crews away. Again, an investigation is ongoing.